Now you switch on the instrument. You switch on the main supply. Then the main switch is mounted on the rear side of the instrument. So you just switch on the main supply. This is the main switch. Okay. When you switch on the main supply, you will find that the instrument will show you the message Vibomatic MD. It will show you time and date. You can set the time by using this set clock key but it is optional it is already set the time is already set it and there is a internal battery so it will keep it uh, memorized so you don't have to set the time and date every now and then now what we will do now this is the methanol this is a specially dried Carl Fisher red methanol having water content less than 0.05 percent you remove this stopper and we'll add some quantity of methanol this methanol is a titration solvent now I am adding the methanol in this you can use the funnel to pour the methanol you add sufficient quantity of the methanol so that the electro tips are well immersed in the methanol now all these chemicals what we are using they are all highly hygroscopic so after you use any chemical just close the bottle immediately similarly this Carl Fisher reagent is also highly hygroscopic as it reacts with water so you like to keep the all your bottles closed so you should not leave them open unnecessarily now i will remove this funnel and i will again close this stopper now <coughs> i will start the stirrer so that you can see that the uh, it the methanol is stirred gently you can adjust the centering of the sink so that it will get smoothly stirred now i will press the start key this Carl Fisher titrations are performed in three stages. First stage is to neutralize the blank water which is there into the methanol. Now this methanol contains about 0.05% water. Initially to neutralize the methanol I will press the start key. Now you will observe that when I press the start key the message add sample will appear over here. Now we, we did not add, uh, add any sample right now just press the start key. You will find that the add sample message is there. It is showing you extraction time which starts from 10 seconds and it counts up to zero. Now after this after the titration is over, it will show you the titration started message. It will give the message excess water indicating the presence of water in the methanol. Now Now you will find that the reagent is getting sucked from this. You will see that the reagent is getting into the pump and after some time this reagent will come out of this pump and then it will get added over here. Now this, now this reagent is getting added over here. The display shows volume of reagent which is being added over here. Observe that this excess water signal is on and the reagent is getting added when it finds that there is no water the excess water signal will go off momentarily now you can see that the excess water signal is off and the confirmation time starts counting from 22 towards 0 now this titration will continue till it finds no water condition continuously for 20 seconds it means that when the excess water signal remains off continuously for 20 seconds the will get the final endpoint now this is uh, 8 seconds are remaining 7, 6, 5 if it finds any water again it will add the reagent and again it will go to 20 seconds now you will find that 6.64 ml is the result and you will uh, you can see that this is the reading Carl Fisher reading 6.64 ml this is the water required this is the um, volume of reagent required to neutralize the water content from the methanol Okay, now this is our first stage of the titration. I will again press the start key and you will find that again it will give the message. Now I will just run the titration without adding any sample. Now the, we have completed the first stage of the titration. Now we are into the 
now we will have to determine the factor that is the strength of this Carl Fisher reagent. Now you will see that we have supplied this microliter syringe. This is 25 microliter syringe we have supplied. Now this is a distilled water. I will add 10 microliter distilled water into this and we will use it for the calibration. Now I am adding known quantity of water. First of all you will have to pump this syringe 2-3 times so that the air bubble can be removed. Now I will exactly take 10 microliter distilled water over here. Now to calibrate the reagent that is to find out the factor first press the cal key. When you press the cal key you will get the message add 10 microliter distilled water and press enter. Now I will add this water after adding water I will immediately close the stopper and then I will press the enter key. When you press the enter key the message cal that is calibration in progress will be displayed. It will show you the volume of reagent being added to neutralize the 10 milligram water that we have added. Okay, now you can see that the reagent is getting added over here. As the reagent is getting added, the reading over here is also getting corrected. When excess water is there, it will it adds the reagent. When there is no water, then excess water signal will go off and the confirmation time will start counting from 20 seconds towards zero. Now the reading is 1.81 ml. It will confirm. In the meantime, I will keep my next 10 microliter sample ready. So in the similar way, now you will find that it has come very close to the end point. Again I am taking 10 micro, I will keep 10 microliter distilled water ready. As soon as this end point is there, immediately I will add my next sample. Now the reading is 1.86 ml. The factor that is strength of the reagent is 5.376. Now here you can repeat this titration 6 times or you can end it in between also. Now what I will do when in the continuous COINT is blinking, I will press the enter key to continue the titration. I will press the enter key. The display shows add 10 microliter distilled water again. So again I will open the stopper. I will add the distilled water and I will again press the enter key. Now you will find that the same titration will get repeated. Such you, you can repeat the titration for 6 times. Again it is titrating the water. You will find that initially the uh, reagent is added very fast. As it approaches near to the end point, the addition of the reagent will be very slow. Now it is showing 4 seconds are remaining 3, 2, 1 and 0. So our reading is 1.8 ml. Now 1.8 ml of Carl Fischer reagent reacts with 2 ml of uh, uh, 10, uh, 10 milligrams of water. So 1 ml corresponds to 5.55 that is 10 divided by 1.8. Now uh, you can repeat the titration like this. Now if you are concluded with the readings then you you can just press the skillet key once so that the end option will start blinking. When end option blinks you can press enter. Now it will calculate the average factor of the readings what you have taken. So now the average reading is 5.4659. It means that 1 ml of reagent is equivalent to 5.465 milligrams of water. This is known as a factor of the Carl Fischer reagent. Now we have completed the second stage. I will press the enter key. Now the titrator is ready to test our samples. Now what we will do, you can just press the factor key. When you press the factor key, you can re read the factor and again you can press enter key so that the factor will get registered. Now what we will do, we will take some sample, we will add some solid sample 
we'll enter the sample quantity and then we will find out the result now this is a sample this is a solid powder i will i have taken it in one on a piece of butter paper now i will now i will add the sample so i to add the sample again to add the sample remove this stopper stop the stirrer and add the sample in this way okay now again replace the stopper ensure that the sample gets added perfectly into the beaker you again you start the stirrer now you can reweigh the paper and you can find out what the weight of the sample now here after the sample is dissolved you press the start key now i am pressing the start key so that the sample whatever is the uh, water content from the sample will get titrated now i will press the start key it gives the message add sample now we have already added the sample now the titration will start just like before it will initially find the presence of water by excess water signal is there as soon as the excess water signal is appearing the reagent is getting added that you can see now it is titrating the water which is present in our sample now we will wait till the final titration is over later on we will enter the sample quantity in grams then we will enter uh, then we will press the percent ppm key to find out the result this we have added solid sample so we will enter the sample quantity in terms of grams it is now the reading is 1.78 ml it will wait till the confirmation time goes to 0 when the confirmation time reaches 0 you will get the final end point now you can see that uh, during titration it has found some water again so excess water signal was on the reading has been corrected uh, to 1.86 again it is waiting for 20 seconds now 1.86 is the reading now here we have added 0.1235 grams of sample to register the sample quantity press smpl key when you press smpl key it will give the message sample quantity and it will show you the sample quantity which was added earlier now to register the sample quantity i will press point 1 2 3 5 it means that i have added point 1 2 3 5 gram of sample press enter to continue i will press enter key again you will see that the reading is 1.86 ml now to find out the water content simply i will press the percent ppm key it will calculate the percentage of water as a 8.23% it will calculate the ppm and it will show you the milligrams of water it has titrated so 8.23 is the percentage 82321 is the ppm that is parts per million and 10.166 mg of water was titrated so this gives the complete result you can press enter key once again now the titrator is ready to analyze the next sample one karo now we will add one liquid sample i will show you how to add the liquid sample now before adding the sample it is necessary that one should just press the start key and ensure the end point one you are not supposed to spend time between two titration so what you you can just press the start key to ensure that you are not spending time now you will see that depending on the time you are losing some reagent addition will take place we will have to ignore that now i will take 10 ml of methanol as a sample now you can see that the reading is 0.07 that we like to discard now i am keeping my sample ready now i will inject the 10 ml methanol i will open this again 
and I will add 10 ml. This is my liquid sample. I will add 10 ml methanol. Now replace the stopper and press the start key again. Now as usual, after the 10 second duration is over, the titration, the moisture from this sample will be titrated. You can see that excess water signal is there. Some reagent is added. Again, it is showing you that there is some water. So again, excess water is there. It is showing you 0.19 ml reagent. Now after, now it is showing 0.24. Now it is waiting for 20 seconds once again. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So this is the end point. Now it shows that to neutralize 10 ml of methanol, it took 0.24 ml of Kalkvisha reagent. Now as usual, again I will press the sample quantity key. Now last time we added 0.1235 gram sample that is indicated over here. Now our sample quantity is 10 ml. So I will enter 1 0 that is 10 press enter key now since I have added liquid sample I will enter, enter press the density key the density of this methanol is 0 0.793 so I will press 0 0.793 is the density of methanol enter now I will press percent ppm key that is the result now you will see that it calculates the percentage of water it is 0 0.0165 percent ppm is 165 that is 165 ppm and milligrams of water is 1.31 milligram so the water which we added was 1.31 now this calculates the uh, this is the result on weight by weight basis because we have entered the density now you note down the result again i will press the enter key now your titrator is ready to add next sample okay.